Hi, and thanks for being with us here on today's edition of electrictv.net. I'm your host, Tom Green. Well, is this a duck or a rabbit? What does this have to do with the electrical industry? Well, look, it's pretty simple. In this day and age, coming up with novel solutions to difficult problems is absolutely essential. Thinking of different ways to look at a job site or different ways to save money can mean either financial hardship or economic windfall. And that's why we sent Dominic Geritano up to Idaho Falls, Idaho. He got a first-hand glimpse at how NECA contractor Wheeler Electric is helping the city switch their thinking. Changing the way you look at a problem can mean the difference between staying within your budget or closing the doors. So when Idaho School District 91 needed someone to come in and change the way they were looking at their energy usage, Wheeler Electric came to the plate with an idea. Save money on energy usage to free up money for the most important thing about education, the kids. In these times of tight budgets, any money we can free up um, from things like utility, utilities, we can then divert directly to the classrooms where um, you know, we need the money. It's the K-12 through lighting retrofit project for the state of Idaho. We're working with local utility companies to get incentive paybacks for the, uh, the state for installing that higher efficiency lighting. Lighting retrofits, as we've discussed with you before, are easy, no-nonsense solutions to very real budget problems. Any NECA IBEW team can do them, and the bang for your buck you get makes it well worth it, and not just because of the money that is saved. The majority of our buildings are more than 50 years old, so the ballasts are very, very old, and it um, you know, d definitely causes some distractions in the classroom. In several of the uh, projects, they're actually installing a brand new light fixture, one for one. And uh, in other cases, they're just installing a retrofit kit. The new lighting, uh, the retrofits, will provide a brighter light and it'll, it will be more energy efficient, which is what we're all after. We come in here and we'll open up the light. We'll gut it, take out all the old parts, put in a new ballast, new tombstones, new lamps. New ballasts or lighting means big energy savings, but just how much? The operations manager for School District 91, you know, he mentioned the other day that lighting is between 25 and 30 percent of their overall energy consumption in the school. And so if, if each school is dropping its energy consumption by, let's say, around 50 percent, that's, that's a pretty conservative estimate, then they're realizing quite a lot of savings in just a year. The best part? An actual rebate check comes to the customer for installing higher efficiency lights. That's how something so simple has helped Idaho Falls School District 91 switch their thinking. In these lean times, we need to make sure that we're making the best use of, of, of every dollar that we have. Um, and when we're making cuts to our budget, we want to do everything we can to, to minimize the impact on our students and minimize the impact on our teachers and classrooms. In Idaho Falls, I'm Dominic Giratano. Thanks, Dom. Wheeler Electric has completed a number of these audits all around Idaho, but wherever they've gone, they've found how to save money for building owners, municipalities, and governments. And that's no illusion. Thanks for being with us on this edition of Electric TV. We'll see you next time.